Three, two, one. Hi guys, today special day. It's my birthday. Yay! I know we had a 9-11 configuration already, but I like the Tiger very much. And today I'm gonna configure whatever I want. Jump right in. I think a Tiger is really missing in the configuration list. And a new one is powerful. As I don't think Porsche is gonna unveil a turbo Tiger anytime. Let's configure a Tiger for GTS. Like always, I would pick a paint to sample color. I think they look way better than the normal ones. We drive something special. Not everybody drives those colors. The tire, I think, is a car that needs some color, like a blue or something like a dark red. Something like the Amethyst Metallic. I think it looks really good on it with the dark Targa bar, the center lock views. Let's take it like this. The roof, honestly, I wouldn't choose a different roof because sadly, they never match any color. It's really hard to get a matching color, so I would stay with the black one. I'm gonna stay with the center lock wheels. I think they give it way much of a sportier look. It's more like a race car. Daily driving, you're not gonna do a pit stop with it, but it looks cooler. And because it's some kind of a convertible, I will pick a light color for the interior. And therefore, I like the new two-tone scheme they have. The seat back in the one color, those little lines that come into the seats here on the outside. I really like how they did the new matching of the two tones. You could also pick it in a GTS color, which I think don't fit too well to the GTS, and always take the sport seat of the 18V. Also a very important feature I would choose for any car you drive in summer, if it's an option, a seat ventilation. Makes driving a lot more comfortable for the exterior package, always choose the sport design, and as they now do it in carbon fiber, I think it looks a lot more here with the front lip in carbon fiber and the rear the side skirt. They give it a nice little touch. And I wouldn't even choose the mirrors painted all the way. I have a little black. Gives it a nice line. And every time the protective foil is a must for your paint. It's gonna last so much longer against stone chips, everything. One thing I don't really like is the logo down here, even though you don't see it anymore much and as the new one the gts always gets a t hybrid system which gives you extra power no turbo legs anymore because of the new e turbo because of the new e turbo you kind of accelerate faster it's giving you 65 horsepower more than the previous gts just one kilometer an hour faster overall it has the power of a 991 turbo oh well, that's pretty fast even though you don't get a turbo but i still wouldn't pick the t hybrid logo but I think you need the dynamic chassis control, the lifting system for the front axle is a must for every low car. Doesn't even need to be a sports car, I think you should always pick it for every parking garage, speed bump, whatsoever. The tailpipe and titanium, I think they give it too much of a chrome look and the car is really clean and black all the way. So I don't know why you would pick those tailpipes. I don't know that, it looks very much like a GT3 Touring with the center tailpipes. They have a nice blue inlay the titanium ones. One thing, I normally wouldn't choose the yellow ceramic brakes. On the red, I really like it. Fits super good to it. So I would choose ceramic brakes with the yellow calipers here. I think it gives them more of a sporty look. And of course, the uh, Matrix headlights are a must for daily driving. You don't need to worry about you know, lights at night. Closest design, taillights say look a lot better when you're clean and of there's also the privacy glass which make it, it look like it's almost like a black one piece of glass target bar melting together i think it looks good it looks nicer when the roof is closed everything is one color plate and not with the clear glass like this i don't think it looks that good then i will always choose the leather package on furry it gives it more structure in the middle of the seat and on the door and list they look better Dashboard and door trim package gonna give you leather on your door handle, on the dashboard closing, or on your dashboard outside. With the interior trim package in accent colors, you can choose your, you can choose the middle of your seats in a different color. Which I would choose in black because the seats are already black on the outside, and with the seats in the middle in black, which you're probably not gonna see, but the middles are gonna be black, which makes them last a long longer and the stitching is now selected in red but it's gonna be dark beige but they can't show it exactly for every color combination so all those red stitches are gonna be in the same color like the beige here and the seat models are gonna be the same color as the outside so that's also why i would choose light seats because i knew i would then 
combine it with the black one so your jeans your trousers your whatever you wear isn't gonna rub off on those beige seats then i would always take the porsche crest headrest the heated steering wheel we already have i think it's a good option you never know when you're gonna drive it if it's in winter or if it's cold outside and because it's an all-wheel drive car you can drive it all year around i think the air runs look really good if they are leather it makes it a lot more exclusive than the normal high it's a high quality plastic but it's still plastic so i this time i would choose them in leather and the matching leather of course for the interior yeah you're already seeing it here also choose a personal key with the case that's a really nice touch it's going to be the paint to sample color we choose for the outside and for the key pouch you can choose it in leather or in race tech and you can choose everything the outer the side and your lining up like really mixed or keep it a bit more classy with the matching colors to the interior and even though all your dyes are digital now you still can choose it as an option to make it red or slate gray i'm not really sure why they even made this as an option but i think it looks good in gray but you can't pick it without your gts interior sadly maybe it's an option for your tuner to do this because it's just a display that you need to slightly change the colors from your side steps on the door i think they are really one thing you see every time getting in and out of the car so i want to have them illuminate like a lot of standard more cheaper cars get it and then i would take carbon fiber because it's just cooler even though the dark brushed aluminum also looks good the system systems i wouldn't choose anything unnecessary but i would choose almost every assistant system because they make driving a lot easier i'm not really sure why surround food still isn't a standard option it's a hundred and ninety thousand euro car adaptive cruise control i think is enough as well as the remote park assistant you already get parking support if you surround you i think lane change assistant is way more important yeah. still want to pick porsche entry makes it hackable more easy to steal don't need that but Porsche tracking system, if it's gonna happen to be stolen, you at least can track it better. And always take the better sound system. With the roof open, it's gonna be a bit louder. You're gonna need a better sound, better sound system. And for the delivery, as I always say, pick it up in Leipzig at their factory. It's a nice dynamic instruction on the car. You get shown it, you can drive it, you can throw it around that track. It's a lot. I think I would always, always, always pick it. And with that, we're already through. That's the 992.2 tire, as I would pick it. The same horsepower, like the 991 Turbo. A nice alternative to the convertible. A really good looking car. I would pick it like this. If you like this configuration, you wanna order it like this, you can use this code. You can look at it in the configurator. Be inspired for your purchase, for your next Porsche. Enjoy it. If you liked it, follow for more. Comment down below what you want to see next. Have fun with your configuration. Bye bye.